Okay, so the way this works is we know the law of cosines here, which is c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of theta, or cosine of c if you want. We call this c up here in any triangle. So you have the diagonals, and you find out that half the diagonals are one, uh, one diagonal is 37, the other one's one half. So the lower triangle here is 26.5, and this here, this right here is 18.25. So that's your triangle. So you plug in these numbers, and you find out what this alpha is here, which is the cosine of alpha is 0.733, which the arc cosine of that is about 42. Um, 60, looks like 62 degrees. So theta, which is this whole angle they're talking about up here, is 2 times alpha, which is 84 point something or other. Anyway, so you know what the theta is. You calculated that using the law of cosines here to find that one. And now you want to find out what A is. And if you look at this whole triangle here, which is this hole here, you've got 24 at the base. You've got the angle. And you've got this. You can again use the law of cosines, and you find out that a squared, which is up here, is this squared da 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 with the cosine, and the cosine, of course, was 0.73. So you could put in here 0.7358. Anyway, if you do this calculation, you'll see a squared is 15, is apparently 1513. I'm, I'm not going to check these results, but this is basic how you do it. Take the square root, you get 38.9. So that's what I'm getting a to be is 38.9. In any case, you know alpha theta is equal to 84, which we set up here before, and phi is 180 minus that, because if you look at this here, this phi here is 180 off of this thing because they're parallel lines, transversal, what have you. So you subtract that, and you get 95.76, and that's your phi. And that, so I did it really quickly because you didn't really want to see much, so I'll stop recording.